CompTIA ITF plus complete training course. Exam Objective 2.8 Given a scenario, install, configure and secure a basic wireless network. Older versus newer standards. The first Wi-Fi standard came about in 1997 with the introduction of the IEEE 802.11 standard. With Wi-Fi, we could now connect to the internet and communicate with each other without the need for physical cables. And over the past few decades, this has completely transformed the way we live and work. So let's briefly journey through the evolution of Wi-Fi as we explore the timeline of 802.11 standards that have shaped the wireless connectivity we know today. After the most basic 802.11 standard was released in 1997, demand skyrocketed and newer more robust Wi-Fi standards were needed. So naturally, we got an upgrade. In 1999, the 802.11a standard was released. This Wi-Fi standard, though not the first, was responsible for solidifying Wi-Fi as the predominant communication standard for short-range wireless computer networking. Not even a year later, in the fall of 1999, we were given 802.11b. It then took four more years before 802.11g was released. 802.11n came next, with a 2009 release date. And 802.11ac is the last standard we will cover with the CompTIA ITF Plus exam, and this standard was released in 2013. Now there are newer standards currently out, like the 802.11ax standard, which is also referred to as Wi-Fi 6, but they are not part of our exam topics for this exam. And there you have it, the evolution of the 802.11 standards from oldest to newest. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.